600 meters. Turn left to stay on IITA entrance road. My husband and I have this new ritual where periodically we escape to somewhere quiet and peaceful and full of nature. In the past few months, you know, I've been working, just really going, going, going and grinding. Um, had to travel for work. That was intense. Came back, caught COVID, recovered from COVID. So it felt like a good time to get away. So, you know, disconnect really take a relaxing, productive holiday. So this time we are at IITA in Ibadan and it's just always a vibe. The three things that we look out for when we go on a break like this, um, one of them is the space. Like, does it have nature? The other is the people. And lastly is the sounds. So the space. The first thing that Chuba commented when we walked into the reception is that it just feels like home. And that's one element of ITA that is consistent across like all the facilities. It's vintage, like they haven't changed the furniture or the decor since like 1960s when it was founded. And so, you know, if I guess for a lot of our generation and even maybe our parents' generations, like that aesthetic of Nigeria in the 60s is still present and is so familiar. So that's definitely part. Beyond the facilities, there's just the grounds. IITA is so green. Like, look at where I'm seated right now. Like, this is the lakeside. It's an artificial lake that was made. You know, there's a section that's lined with palm trees. You know, the lake is right there. You can hear the birds in the back. It's just really peaceful. One of our favorite things to do, you know, like we wake up, we go for a morning run down to the lake, and it's just so therapeutic to start your day like that. And then, you know, afterwards you can go grab food and it's an outdoor space and you're looking at the tennis court and you're looking at all these trees. And, you know, Ch Chuba has dedicated his life to what what he and his brother called the gospel of nature. Um, and it, it's all about how do you appreciate nature because it has been proven to make you happier, kinder, and more creative. Um, and being in a space like this, just it's an environment that fosters all of those emotions and feelings. For me as a photographer, you know, the first time we came here, I was just inspired to explore in a way that I haven't since, what, 2013, 2015, like between New York and Morocco. Like the, the photos that I took at those exploratory phases, I look at them, um, I just, I feel them. Uh, and so being here at IITA the first time, I really felt, you know, it just inspired me to go out and document. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of part one. I hope you enjoyed it. Originally, the plan was to release everything as like one long piece, but I've only been able to make the time to edit up until this point. And since it was pretty much a complete narrative, I felt like, you know what, let me ship this. So shout out to everyone who encouraged me to just ship it. My husband, Chuba, Toba, everybody else y'all know yourselves so uh looking forward to you know shipping part two on the people and the sounds especially because the people are a big part of a really big part of why we love iita so much so watch out for that version fun fact this video was made over the span of like two years so it's been like two years since i filmed the very first clip the oldest clip that was in here and quite a few things have changed for one, I'm looking forward to putting together a behind the scenes of like how I filmed it, so watch out for that. The other bit is, at IITA itself, they've done a number of renovations. That vintage that I talked about is 
largely no longer the case. I'm sure some people enjoy the new updates, but we certainly miss the vintage style, you know, that was so nostalgic for us. But I applaud them wanting to provide a more modern experience for the people that stay here. That's really the major change. Otherwise, you know, still recommend it as a lovely, therapeutic, nature-filled getaway for people. So yeah, thank you for sticking around till the end and watch out for part two and all the other videos that will come up in the meantime. Bye for now.